Okay, so last quick, quick, quick section on shapes. And now we're gonna be looking at similar shapes. So a similar shape is something where we have, basically, we might have this triangle. A nice small triangle. And we might have this triangle. And remember, these aren't drawn <laughs> accurately. So we might have this triangle, okay? And we need to know whether they're similar. And they are, because this angle might be 40 degrees. Okay, this angle then would still be 40 degrees. This angle would be 32 degrees, and this angle would be 32 degrees. Now, we know that they're similar. If this side was five centimeters, and this side was 10 centimeters, this side was eight centimeters, what would the length of this side be? Well, the length of this side would then have to be 16, just by our similarity. And this side, if this side was 12, this side therefore would be 24. Okay, and that's just purely through to similarity. Okay, and the way we know if two triangles are similar, basically two angles, if we've got two angles and a side that are similar, so the two angles have to be the same, the side just has to be similar, then we know they must be similar. If all three sides are of the same ratios, then we know. I mean, this has been basically, this is one and this is two. So it's been enlarged by scale factor one to two, but they're similar. All the angles will be the same. If we've got all the three sides the same, we know one angle, we know that the one angle here is gonna be the same. All the angles will therefore then be the same. So it's a good thing to remember because often we're given questions where we might have a triangle like this and then sort of a bigger triangle coming off of it. And we're actually told these are similar and that we know this length and this angle. And we know this angle of this one and we're told to find this angle. Well, this angle corresponds to this because we can see it's just been rotated. This side corresponds to this. So we just need to then work out, we can then know the angle straight away. If we know, so let's turn that to 10 and 5. We can work this angle out straight away. We've got this is 40, and we know this is 40. We've got this is 85, and we know this is 85. This is purely because we're told they're similar in the question. Then, no, sorry, we don't know this angle. This angle corresponds to this angle, doesn't it? So this is 85, and we can work out this angle. So 40 plus 85 equals 125. So 180 minus 125 gives us our angle, which would be 55. And then we'd know that that angle would be 55 as well. So, very helpful with triangles, the similarity. Just remember, similar triangles will always have the same angles. Okay, what about if we just then want to find the length? So we're told we've got this random shape. We're told we've got this shape here. This L shape coming back to haunt us. Okay, and we're told that this shape here is similar sorry don't worry about how much your drawings are okay so we're told these are similar and we're told that this length is 12 centimeters what is this length well, how are they similar? Well, we're told that this length is 20 centimetres and this length is 30 centimetres. So we're told they're similar, we just got to work out this length. Well, this has been increased, 
So the ratio is 20. We can see that the ratio of these two sides is just 20 to 30. So the ratio is coming back in again. That will cancel down, won't it, to 2 to 3. OK. So all I really need to do is divide this. To get from 2 to 3, you divide by 2 times by 3. Yeah? So I can just divide 30, which will give me 15, and then times by 3, which will give me, it must be 45 centimetres. Okay? I could have divided it. If I, well, I'd need to know the total. I'd have to add them together, then divide by 5. So I divide by this number and times by this number to get to scale up to enlarge by this ratio okay what about areas what well, what about areas so we're told we've got these two shapes okay and the area of this one equals 20 centimeters squared and that this is sim so what's the area of this one? Okay, so we still know that this it's a two to three ratio, don't we? That ratio, let's just say that stayed the same. Okay, so in this case we're gonna say we've enlarged it by a ratio of one to three, rather than two to three, just to make our lives a little bit easier. So if the lengths, the lengths have increased by a ratio of 1 to 3, then the areas will increase by a ratio of 1 to 3 squared, because remember area is length times length, isn't it? So it'll be 1 squared to 3 squared. Okay, so we know with these two, we had the ratio increase, didn't we? Two to three. Well, what's going to happen with the area? Well, how do you find an area? It's a squared, isn't it? So the areas are going to go up in the ratio two squared to three squared. So in this case, four to nine. Okay, two squared to three squared, four to nine now. So the area's gone from 20 centimetres. What's it going to be now? So 20 divided by 4 gives us 5. And then times by 9. 5 times 9 gives us 45 centimetres squared. OK? Okay, now what about volume? Well, volume is another order again, isn't it? So this is area. What about volume? Well, volume is going to be cubed, isn't it? There's going to be two cubed to three cubed. What's two cubed? Two cubed is going to be eight. That's going to be to 27. Okay? So if I'm told the volume of this, so if this now has suddenly become 2, so we suddenly got something that can have a volume, and I'm told the volume of this one is 400 centimetres cubed, what will the volume of this be? So I need to do 400 divided by 8. So what's 400 divided by 8? Well, 40 divided by 8 is 5, so 400 divided by 8 is just going to be 50. Okay? And now I need to do 50 
times the bottom of 27. And that's going to give me, well, half of 27 is, well, 100 times 27 is going to be 2,700. And half of that is going to be 1,350 centimeters cubed. So that's our enlargements with similar objects. They have to be similar. If they're not similar, you can't make those enlargements. Have a go at the questions, see how you get on. Uh, and then we're all done with shapes.